to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you my top pregnancy must-haves for the second trimester. Things that I've loved, things that I cannot live without and things that have really helped me as things start to get a little bit bigger and a little bit more uncomfortable as pregnancy goes on. My name is Kitty Hackle. I'm a registered general, general nurse. I'm also a lactation consultant, birth and postpartum doula, hypnobirthing instructor and antenatal educator. Here on this channel I talk about everything from pregnancy to birth to postpartum and breastfeeding experiences. So if that's the sort of content that you are interested in make sure and hit that subscribe button and notification bell and don't want to miss any more of my videos. So I'm going, got a big pile of products right here beside me. Um, a real mixture. I'm still waiting on um, some things to kind of join my team, my little crew of things that have really helped me in this pregnancy. But at the moment, I'm just going to dive right in with what I'm wearing. So during COVID times, we're not really leaving the house a whole lot, are, are we? So comfort is key. This sort of set, it's like a, oh, I wish, I wish you could feel it through the camera. It's almost like it's kind of like a velour sort of consistency and it is so so dreamy like buttery soft um actually did i leave the tag on so that i could show you guys it's from a company called chelsea piers in new york and i actually got them through asos i'll try and link them down below if they still have them available but it was about 30 euro for the set between so the top and the bottoms and I've been knitting in it since it arrived. I got it in a size 14 so typically I'm a size kind of 10 to 12 so it's just non-maternity, really comfy, really cozy and I've been living, living in the set since it arrived. <coughs> Another clothing related item is these biker shorts. So while they might be, I really should be sort of demoing these to show you, show you what they look like, but they're nothing fancy. They're just over the bump uh, biker shorts. These ones are from a company called Momalicious, which again is another company that I absolutely adore. I don't know, can you see that there? I'll again link it down below, but I don't know about anybody else. During pregnancy, all I want to wear is something that's not too tight, not too restrictive on the bump loads of space and really comfortable so generally that means dresses but as the kind of starts to get a little bit warmer whether it gets a little bit more sticky I have really awful chafing between my legs whether I'm pregnant or not so something like this underneath those dresses means that I can kind of look cute but also be comfy at the same time so perhaps later on during the summer I'll wear them kind of with a little like tank top tucked in or something a little bit a little bit more chic but for the moment these have been an absolute lifesaver and I can just wear my kind of floaty summery dresses at home and still be comfortable so this particular pair um from Mamalicious have been a lifesaver I just got one pair and I've just been like washing it on repeat so I might get a second I also invested in a pair of really comfortable underwear. So this, this is the three pack. This is the second pack I got because I actually have underwear from them already. This is a company called Sloggy. Sloggy, am I pronouncing that correctly? And they're so luxurious, so lovely. I just got the normal briefs, which do you even need to see them? Probably not. Um, they're just cotton, so they're really breathable material. There's nothing kind of, um, you know, false or plasticky about them. They're um, really thin but really comfortable and they fit just beautifully under the bump. I haven't gotten into kind of maternity underwear at all. I feel like these are lovely. I just got a size up so they're going to be really comfy for postpartum as well and I got them in the sort of the black charcoal grey and then this little polka dot size and um, they're kind of in that sort of hipster style so they'll be really comfortable whether I'm pregnant or not. I am um, very kind of thrifty and I don't tend to spend heaps of money on myself. I know up until this point I had literally nothing that was like maternity specific or not like 10 years old in my wardrobe so it's been really nice just to have something for me that I can really look forward to wearing and look forward to sort of being comfy in. So that's been really really nice. The other things that have sort of been going on with this pregnancy that have been really a 
about comfort but more so discomfort is that I've been getting those sort of aches and pains of pregnancy quite early. So as I'm filming this video I am 25 weeks pregnant and I'm already getting a lot of like back ache, a lot of sort of um you know that sort of stretching round ligament pain and a bit of tailbone pain. So one of the biggest things for me has been movement. I've been really loving doing a sort of once weekly prenatal Pilates class and just the movement through that class, while it's really gentle, I feel amazing afterwards. I feel so good. Um, up until till COVID hit, I would always be recommending swimming during pregnancy. Last time I loved to swim, this time I haven't obviously been able to, so I'm really looking forward to when the swimming pools open back up so I can get back into doing that kind of thing. I will be sure to link my favourite prenatal uh, Pilates class down below and some uh, other recommendations that I have for you. But some of the things that have been really nice for that discomfort and also for sort of helping me get off to sleep and um, both of them, I, I use them kind of in combination, have been Epsom salts. So uh, this particular brand is from Ultra Pure Laboratories um, and it's got eucalyptus oil in it, but there's another uh, combination that they do with lavender oil and it's so, so delicious. It's lovely, um, d delicious, don't, don't eat it. But I will either try and get a bath in or just a foot soak even is fantastic. So with the Epsom salts, they're really, really high in minerals, in particular magnesium. So that's had a really sort of, almost like a sort of relaxing effect on my muscles, which has been really, really nice. And I will sometimes, if I have been really struggling to get to sleep, I will do a double whammy. So I'll do a little kind of foot soak. I will maybe downstairs doing a bit of work on the laptop. And then before I go to bed, I will double up with the magnesium oil spray. This one is actually just from Holland and Barrett. And I will massage that into any areas that have kind of been giving me a bit of trouble. So my tailbone, my calves, because I've been getting a lot of that sort of the Charlie horse kicks during the night, which no doubt I've been waking my lovely husband up. So these two combined and then a little bit of kind of like gentle stretching. So just sort of doing a little bit of maybe downward dog during the edge before that kind of wind down period before bed have been really, really helpful. I've been really struggling to get to sleep full stop since I hit the second trimester. Other things that I've been doing that have been sort of helpful sometimes so the hit and hit and miss is I've started listening to my hypnobirthing tracks again and I've started listening to some ASMR channels here on YouTube which have just been really lovely mindless um sort of content which has definitely take, taken my mind away from work and things like that and worries about bringing another baby into the world so that's been really really nice um still struggling to get my water in so I have been on the lookout for some sort of kombucha or fizzy drink or something that is going to be um, able to sort of get me excited about drinking more water again. I'm currently drinking one of these fellas. It's from Tesco, the white grape and blackberry flavoured spring water. It's so good. I think it's like 57 cent for like the whole bottle. But I've been craving fizzy stuff. I don't know what that means, but yeah. It's really, really young. Uh, the other thing that I've been, the very last thing that I've been finding really, really beneficial is actually something that I would recommend for use during your birth as well. And that is the use of adhesive heat pads. So yes, I love like your know, nice rice pack or hot water bottle on my back, but they're a pain in the bum to kind of be carrying around. So these, I actually have them linked on my Amazon storefront as well. They are so so lovely so these come in packs of two um, and I just got like the multi 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 pack and they stick literally like a plaster onto whatever area that you are kind of struggling with they work for up to eight hours so if you are kind of sore during the day if you're kind of you know, you've been moving around quite a bit and your tailbone's quite sore or your lower back is quite sore slapping one of these fellas on there is so so lovely um and again stays in place in a way that a heat pack or a rice pack might not do so they are my current 
pregnancy must-haves for the second trimester. Things that I found really, really helpful and I've already got some things that I've been loving that I can't wait to share with you in my third trimester must-haves video. So make sure and hit that notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out on that one when I um, make it go live. And I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you're having a lovely pregnancy. If you are also joining me along in this journey, make sure and leave a little comment down below so that I can create a sort of community on here so that where some of us mums might have been meeting in person, that we can have that same sense of community here with what resources are available to us. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.